All right, let's do it. Let's try to answer this question of really one of the hottest apps here on the channel in 2022, Walmart Spark. But as you saw, is it driving for Walmart Spark worth it? And I'm not going to waste your time. Here's my number one insight to answer this question. I feel like after doing just a handful of deliveries here, but I have done this side hustle stuff since 2015, thousands of trips and transactions on most every app and niche, that when it comes to Walmart Spark, the value comes in insofar as how close are you to a Walmart? Now, here's the thing with Walmart Spark. It's pretty obvious, but of course, you got to go to the Walmart first. We're delivering Walmart orders, grocery orders. But my point is, is think about your location to just restaurants on food delivery apps, or maybe just stores in general, like grocery stores with shipped and Instacart, or even maybe the warehouse for Amazon, because you got to do that. You got to go to the warehouse first on Amazon Flex. But here's an example. Take a look at an actual order from Walmart Spark. It looks pretty good. If I had this on food delivery, this is a super, a very strong paying order. $22.65 for just 7.1 miles. Now that matters because of fundamentals that we talk about here in the channel, the dollars to mile ratio. How much am I getting paid for the miles driven? Because we're using our personal vehicle, a pretty expensive depreciating assets. So if I'm putting miles and more miles on my vehicle, then the efficiency of is it worth it for the money that I'm getting, it's going down. So look again here at the order. It's 7.1 miles, a great payout. But like I told you, the distance to that Walmart is really the number one thing because I am 10 miles away from this Walmart. So I got to drive down there if I'm not in that area to begin with, and I got to drive back home 10 miles. And that's pretty different than let's say food delivery, where I could drive like down the road and there's plenty of restaurants to choose from. And then my ending destination, I have restaurants hopefully nearby. I can just continue versus having to every single time I make a delivery with the Walmart Spark, I got to drive back to that Walmart. In essence, doubling the miles. So now this seven miles, let's say to this customer, it's seven miles back to the Walmart. Number two, something to really consider if you're determining if Spark is worth it are the bonuses and really reading the bonuses carefully. So check it out. Now, the thing with Spark that I actually don't like, I think this is pretty confusing is it'll say like, Hey, this bonus is for such and such store. It's like a Sam's club or this bonus only applies to this Walmart to store number such and such. It gets really confusing. I think it's too tough to distinguish. All right, this bonus and I got to qualify for this bonus. So I guess it's not that hard. Just really pay attention and make sure you actually qualify. You're not picking up from, let's say, two different locations and you're not going to get your bonus. So I really need you to understand our channel standards here as far as what's actually worth it to actually use this vehicle. So when I mentioned that dollars to mile ratio, I want you to be hitting at least $1.75 paid out per mile, ideally $2 plus. And that's what I've been hitting here in Pittsburgh, at least $2 plus paid out per mile. Comment down below how have your shifts been and if certain niches maybe pay a little bit better, comment that down below. But my problem in defining is Walmart Spark worth it is, again, for me at least, for me, our number one rule with Walmart Spark is the vicinity to these Walmarts, 10 miles down there, 10 miles back, so minimum 20 miles, okay. But then it's really that's doubling back on the customer orders as well. So again, maybe five miles out to the customer, then five miles back in before I can even pick up another order. So let's think about it. Even if you live like across the street from a Walmart, there's no commuting miles. I live right here, man. Zero commuting miles. We're still in essence doubling the miles again, a customer back to the Walmarts before I could even get another pickup. Another customer back to the Walmarts. I feel like it's just not as efficient as other side hustles. Now, if you can maximize the base pay, the customer tips, because tips can be pretty good on platforms like this, and the bonus pay, and I guess minimizing the commuting miles, 
then yes, I would say Walmart Spark is worth it. But for me, just knowing these side hustle options that I have based on my marketplace, based on my vicinity, really, to these Walmarts, I can have a better dollars to mile ratio. I could be more efficient on the payout per mile on other niches. Because like food delivery, again, my goal is to ping pong orders, like we call it. So I finished an order and I got another pickup, ideally like a block or two away versus having to, with Walmart, drive continually back to that Walmart and back home for that shift. And if you did get value in this video, consider dropping a like. It shows me that you appreciate the content here and it does help out the channel quite a bit. Appreciate that. And you can also click or tap the screen here for my newest video as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.